going to uncover the cover-up, and I hope this is just the beginning of many more hearings and more people coming forward about this. The Tic Tac object we engaged in 2004 was far superior to anything that we had on time, have today, or are looking to develop in the next 10 years. I was informed in the course of my official duties of a multi-decade uh, UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program. I have experienced advanced UAP firsthand, and I'm here to voice the concerns of more than 30 commercial aircrew and military veterans who have confided their similar encounters with me. From Roswell, New Mexico to the coast of Jacksonville, Florida, the sightings of UAPs have rarely been explained by the people who have firsthand accounts of these situations. This is largely due to the lack of transparency by our own government and the failure of our elected leaders to make good on their promises to release explanations and footage and mountains of overclassified documents that continue to be hidden from the American people. These objects were staying completely stationary in category four hurricane winds. These same objects would then accelerate to supersonic speeds, 1.1, 1.2 Mach, uh, and they would do so in very erratic and, and quick behaviors that we don't, I don't have an explanation for. We have nothing that can stop in midair and go the other direction, nor do we have anything that can, like in our situation, come down from space, hang out for three hours, and go back up. In 2014, I was an F-18 Foxtrot pilot in the Navy Fighter Attack Squadron 11, the Red Rippers. During a training mission in Warning Area Whiskey 72, 10 miles off the coast of Virginia Beach, two F-18 Super Hornets were split by a UAP. The object, described as a dark gray or a black cube inside of a clear sphere, came within 50 feet of the lead aircraft and was estimated to be five to 15 feet in diameter. The mission commander terminated the flight immediately and returned to base. Our squadron submitted a safety report but there was no official acknowledgement of the incident and no further mechanism to report the sightings. All four of us, because we were in F-18F, so we had pilots and Wizzo in the back seat, looked down a small, saw a white tic-tac object with a longitudinal axis pointing north-south and moving very abruptly over the water. And the object, ob object suddenly shifted its longitudinal axis, aligned it with my aircraft, and began to climb. Our altitude at this point was about 15,000 feet, and the tic-tac was about 12,000. As we pulled nose onto the object within about a half mile of it, it rapidly accelerated in front of us and disappeared. The controller came up and said, sir, you're not gonna believe this, but that thing is at your cat point roughly 60 miles away in less than a minute. You can calculate the speed. Mr. Gresh, finally, do you believe that our government is in possession of UAPs? Uh, absolutely, based on interviewing uh, over 40 witnesses over four years.